Hello everyone and welcome back to the New Hampshire Business Show. My name is Chris Pastrana and today we're here with Susan. Uh, redo that. Uh, <laughs> I can't talk. <sighs> One more time. Hello everyone and welcome back to the New Hampshire Business Show. My name is Chris Pastrana and today we're here with Susan Hastings of the Creative Communications Center. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Chris. It's a pleasure to be here. <laughs> Absolutely. So let's learn a little bit about you and your business and what you do and we'll go from there. Uh, well, I am pretty much semi-retired at okay. this point. At the age of 82, I think maybe it's about time. Yeah. Uh, but I'll probably never be fully retired. But I, um, I started off actually not being able to speak in public at all because of being laughed at in school. Um, uh, but then I decided I've got to do something about that. And the long and the short of it is I started teaching parent effectiveness training. And um, that led to one thing after another, another, and what was just local hanging up flyers ended up going to uh, uh, actually some international travel and teaching for American Management Association, et cetera. So um, it's been a very, very fulfilling life. And now, uh, in the last 10 years, 10 years ago, I got, I've been a therapist and a coach and taught coaching for years, but I um, actually um, am now a hypnotherapist. I decided I wanted to go deeper than just therapy and coaching could do, and, and hip, hypnotherapy, hypnosis allows that. Yeah. Okay, so let's get into it. What is hypnotherapy? <laughs> hypnotherapy is taking hypnosis and therapy. So you are given that title when you are a registered therapist, as I am. Otherwise, you are a um, uh, registered consulting hypnotist, which is great. I mean, but it's just that happens to be what the, I'm called because of that background. Okay. And uh, I really enjoy that combination a lot, Chris, because I don't have any interest in just playing, having someone sit in a chair and hypnotizing them and with no rapport at all. And so I really enjoy the opportunity to find out more by really listening what's going on, you know, what do, what, what do they want to be different. And, uh, and it's amazing. I mean, uh, I have seen... Um, amazing results with people and I've seen where nothing has happened at all a lot of it depends on what's the motivation yeah. and when the motivation is really there like for instance smoking I um, worked with somebody who has been smoking since she was 11 she was in her mid 50s she was waiting for a lung transplant and she was told if she didn't stop smoking she would die it's just as easy as that and so she was highly motivated, and she was amazing. She's been amazing. On the other hand, her daughter came, thought, oh, well, I'll give up smoking too. She didn't really want to. She wanted to want to, you know, wanted to yeah. for her kids or something. And she went to a bar and was smoking that night. So, you know, it's very humbling. It's very exciting when it works. And, uh, but when it doesn't, after having done this, you know, for just 10 years, not that long, um, it's really motivation that makes the difference. Hmm. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So is that the biggest, I guess, help to the, your patients is that they want to get better? Yeah. So it kind of helps reinforce everything else? Yeah. Another, probably, probably my most exciting is um, someone who has been in, had been in a wheelchair for two or three years with MS, mm -hmm. had not walked, obviously, in that amount of time, had gone through cell therapy and everything down in Florida. That hadn't done any good. And um, she, her caretaker said, let's try hypnosis. And so she did. And it was the most interesting thing because the first session I had with her, she was, had been very scared of being on a horse because the horse was supposed to help her with her balance and everything. Mm -hmm. So the first thing that we had to do in that session was to get rid of her fear of the horse. So we did yeah. that. So she comes in the second session. So I said, how's the horse? And she said, what horse? And so I mean, she'd completely forgotten that there was ever a problem with the horse. And then when I had her in trance, it was the most interesting experience, Chris, because I'm telling you, her legs were talking to me, and they were saying, we want to walk. We want to walk. And it's like, oh, uh, you know, and I love it when I have something happen that's not me. You know, it wasn't me. Um, so I told her that. I said, your legs are saying, we want to walk, we want to walk. And uh, so uh, at the end, she said, I will walk five steps tomorrow, and I will walk ten on Sunday. And she did. Not by herself, of course, but with somebody holding on. 
And then she came to show me the following Monday, and she walked the, up and down the hall. And when she went to show her parents, they burst into tears. And so she has continued to improve, improve. I haven't done any more hypnosis with her. That's all she, she needed from me. And uh, so, I mean, that kind of thing, you just don't know. I've, I've had uh, enough of those kind of experiences to know it really works. It's yeah. really amazing. It's just on the subconscious level. And the subconscious level says yes to everything we say. So the first thing I have to do is to really teach people about their own self-talk and their own, their own thoughts. And if they come up with something negative, to say cancel, cancel, and, and, uh, um, and replace it with a positive. Yeah. And one more experience. When I was first, uh, was, this so was interesting, I was first certified, and I got this call from this woman saying, uh, do you, can you do anything to help people with negativity? I thought, well, I don't know. So I got out my list of everything hypnosis will do. And I didn't say anything about negativity. So then I, I said, um, uh, I don't know, but I'm happy to try. Anyway, she came, and the bottom line is I taught her that cancel, cancel, and she came in the second session. She said, all I've been doing all week is saying cancel, 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 cancel. Came in the third week, and she was singing in the shower. And she, her relationship with her kids was better. They had moved to California to get away from her with her friends and everything else. So, you know, but she was really motivated. But she had to learn a different way of thinking. Yeah. So. Yeah. I've see, I see that a lot, especially with entrepreneurs, um, you know, people in my line, like business, marketing. Yeah. Your mindset can do a lot. Oh, and, a lot. Yeah. And, it sure can. Yeah. And if you either have just really bad thoughts about yourself. And yeah. You know what you do that self-sabotage comes Absolutely. on really quick <laughs> I, I've read several different studies but they all come down to essentially uh, what you're saying the power of the mind and one of them that I read is that the average person has between 600 and 1200 words a minute go through their mind mm -hmm. and for um, the vast majority of the people about 80% are negative I can't do or somebody else can do it better or I don't deserve this so yeah the self-talk is really important Hmm. I like it. Yeah. So, let's talk a little bit about your book that you brought with you. Yeah. Walking <laughs> the Spiritual Path with Practical Feet and a journal that goes along with it. Um, I've had some, I've been really blessed in all the years that I've been on, on this wonderful earth to have some great experiences, some mm -hmm. very spiritual experiences. And over and over again, people would say, Susie, you should write a book. And I said, I don't want to write a book. Well, why not? Because I don't have anything to say that someone else hasn't said better. So um, uh, that was my theme and for a long time. And then I was a coach at, at Tuck School and uh, for a while. And Marshall Goldsmith was a person who was very famous in, in, the, in the field of coaching and lectures. He's a Buddhist, and he's just the most wonderful person. And for some reason, he took an interest in what I was doing. At that time, I was teaching coaching, and I was working on my coaching manual for, for the participants. And he just offered to give me an hour of his time. And he said the same thing. You should write a book. And I gave him the same answer. And he said, that's not a good answer. But he said, then you should compile a book and have other people write something for you. And I said, that I can do. So he said, I'll write a chapter for you. Marshall Goldsmith would write a chapter for me. I mean, that was unbelievable. And so this is 10 Visionaries Who Make a Difference, Walking the Spiritual Path with Practical Feet, 10 Visionaries Who Make a Difference. So I thought in terms of who are the people who have made the biggest difference to me. And some of these people are famous, and some of these people nobody else has heard of practically, but they've been famous to me. They've really changed yeah. my life. And so, and then I got, um, you know, put together a journal that goes along with it with the highlights from the book and journal. And then I asked these same authors if they would be willing to do a teleseries and, and come and, and talk on a different subject. They all did that. And they weren't getting paid for this. Yeah. So it just shows how generous people are. And uh, so I've been... Uh, really excited about that and I have actually came across the other day when I was cleaning out my office a lot of the writings that I've done in the past and I thought huh that's interesting so anyway this is the result and I have Marshall Goldsmith and several other people mm. to thank for that it's pretty cool yeah it's good they'd be willing to do that for you I know yeah. and Marshall Goldsmith he probably gets five thousand dollars for any word that comes out of his mouth and he has all sorts of best-selling. And another person that I met when I was, um, I was teaching for American Management Association, <coughs> I was in New York City, 
And it was um, uh, teaching for American management, but they also had a big um, seminar going on at that time. And this man was sitting with, you know, at lunch, and he said, what do you do? And, you know, what do you do? And turns out he's the ghost, uh, he was the ghost writer for Stephen Covey, the, the mm -hmm. Seven Habits of the Most Effective People. Mm -hmm. And he said the same thing, you know, do you write a book? No, 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 no. And so anyway, he's another person in the chapter of this book. And, um, and then he encouraged me to write more, and, and he has several newsletters and so, or, or, or actually brochures or whatever. Um, and he encouraged me to write for him, so I did that. So it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's been a, certainly a part of my journey. Absolutely. Yeah. So how long ago did you write uh, or compile? About 10 book? years ago. Okay. So but I was, I was just rereading and re-listening. And honestly, these people, I knew they were amazing. But what they had to share was really so inspirational. So I just keep one in my car and for us to, li to listen to and yeah. rereading some of this. So, yeah, it's been wonderful. Hmm. It's pretty cool. Um, I was going to say, so... You wrote the book and then you started the business, or was it vice versa? Oh, no, the I business I started in the 1970s. Okay. When, um, uh, when I uh, was teaching so much teacher effectiveness training, and then I was doing a lot of different things, and so I decided I probably should have a name for my company. Yeah. I said this was in the 70s. And so I came up, I did most of the time, work at that time was communications, so I came up with Creative Communication Center. and. Then, okay, so if I'm going to have a title for my company, I better have some kind of a logo. So I thought, okay, what am I going to do for a logo? Well, I've always loved hearts ever since I was four years old, so I no. think, you know, I'd like to have something with a heart. Oh, no, 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 that's too tacky for corporate business. <laughs> well, okay, well, I like the hands. Well, that is also pretty tacky. And then um, I, I remember this at 2 o'clock one morning. I said, it is a, a, um, a heart in hands. Mm -hmm. And um, and the next day I was reading and something I was studying at the time, A Course in Miracles, that said absolutely about the heart being pure to give and the hands being strong to handle. So, I mean, it was like, there it is. So I wear it all the time. It is, you know, a heart and hands with the, you know, with really the, cool. with the you know, world behind it. I, yeah, so you never know where. So that's how I got the logo and the name of my company. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. I like little stories like yeah. that. They add another depth to the company yeah you know, yeah like that. right so yeah so what are you looking to do as far as in the future are you looking to just kind of just still more do of the same do? i uh i don't want to get on planes yeah. and i was 24 <laughs> 7. i i subcontracted with chrysler for a couple of years okay. and i with their customer service program i was all over the northeast all the time and i would come home eat and go back on the road again so i'm really happy not to be doing that again but one of the coaching programs that i particularly enjoyed was the one day coaching mm -hmm. with me that someone would come and spend a whole day with me and we would go over i have a variety of assessments that people can take and look at what they really wanted in their life personally professionally both whatever my own coach many many years ago did that for me invited me to come down to philadelphia and that was huge so i i, I love i love doing coaching um, and I love doing, I, I mean, I'm not a deep, deep therapist as far as a, you know, a psychiatrist, that's not kind of a, um, a therapist, but the River Valley Club, for instance, where I do consulting and coaching and do workshops, have invi invited me to be part of their offerings to people, so, so I think, you know, so I, I love, so it's, anyway, it's more local, yeah. plus local, you know, local individuals is, um, as well as you know companies but not not trying to grow my business anymore yeah i just want to maintain it and um i went through a four hour values class um many many years ago to discover that my truly my highest value for myself is to make a difference and um so that's what i want to do and you know and that came from my mother she felt the, the same way so however it comes up but um I used to live in Norwich, and uh, in a very you know nice house in Norwich. And um, a couple, three years ago, I moved into the Greens, which is a community in Hanover, which I love. So it's sort of like for every season there is a reason. Yeah. So um, 
I, I love, you know, I love that. So life is good, and I just am here to receive whatever comes to me without, you know, with, without striving and driving. Yeah. You know, I just like to thrive now. I did yeah. years. I know how to strive and drive really well, <laughs> but I don't want to do that anymore, and I'm not. That's pretty good. Yeah. I like the, the direction and, you know, the focus on that. That's good. Yeah. Like that. yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So, did anything else you wanted to cover while we're still talking? Um, I mean, we covered quite a bit. Of course, sure did. So, <clears throat> well, I do go away in the winter, okay. which is nice. But all of my family is here. My all my kids and grandchildren. So that keeps me here. I yeah. love being in the Upper Valley. Yeah. And I just really love it. Been here for over fifty years, oh. and so yeah. So unless you have something you want to ask me, I... Uh, I no, I think we got it. Okay. So people that want to reach out, learn a little more, maybe do business, how do they get you? Oh, yeah. I have two websites. <clears throat> One is um, uh, adifference.com, just www.adifference.com. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the other one is hastingshypnotherapy.com. So if someone is particularly interested in hypnosis... There's a lot of information about what is hypnosis as well as some testimonials and, um, and the background for me. And the other one is about more about the workshops and the coaching and the assessments, the difference one. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Thank, Thank you for you. the opportunity. Oh, if somebody wants to call me, they can also, uh, my email address also is uh, shastingsccc for Creative Communication Center at AOL. But anyway, that's yeah, great. I've really yeah. enjoyed it, Chris. Thank awesome. you. Thank you so yeah. much for joining me. It's been thank fun. you. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. That is going to be it for today, so everyone be good. That's it for today, everyone, but it doesn't have to end there. Head over to iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, or iHeartRadio to get more from New Hampshire's top entrepreneurs.